Guys, we're counting out the days to the new year and taking a look back at some of the trending tickers along the way. Today's focus, NVIDIA. Yahoo Finance's Jared Blickery joins us now. Jared. Hi there. Well, looking at our top 10 here, NVIDIA is number nine. That is nine, uh, number nine as of last Friday. And I'll tell you what, NVIDIA has been a mainstay of the Yahoo Finance trending tickers for years, uh, but it only topped out at about number four this year, and it did that on two separate occasions. I'm going to pull up a chart here in a second. First of all, NVIDIA down about two and a half percent today. Uh, just the latest news. Uh, Powell under fire here and chip stocks under fire as a result of the Fed kind of amping up that hawkish rhetoric. We're going to take a look at the second in a second, but here's NVIDIA over the last two years. This chart is going to look very familiar. Lots of pandemic era charts look like this. Here is the big rise in 2021, only to be met with the huge decline in 2022. Now, at the highs, NVIDIA had a stock price of $384.33 with a market cap of $834.4 billion. And when we think mega caps, don't usually think about NVIDIA, but it actually surpassed Meta in market cap on uh, February 7th of this year. So NVIDIA was 618.2 billion that day. Meta, because it had one of its worst days in years, uh, it had a pretty bad year. That was a day where it sunk to 612.2 billion. Finally, at the lows of the year here, and that was only about a month and a half ago when the rest of the stock market bottomed here, we have NVIDIA hitting a new 2022 low in market cap as well of $279.6 billion. And uh, just looking at some of the mega caps overall, uh, let's hear it. Here we have, uh, this is the intraday picture picture of them along with their market cap. So here is NVIDIA at 411.6 million. You can see where it fits into the grand scheme of things. Uh, bigger than Walmart, but still uh, smaller than Exxon here. And we know that those energy stocks have been some of the year's biggest gainers. And in fact, when we take a look at the year-to-date performance here, uh, let me just slap that. Uh, we can see, indeed, NVIDIA among some of the worst performers of the year here, uh, down 44%. And I just mentioned Exxon. What a contrast. That's up 69%. But pretty much in the same group as Amazon and uh, not quite as bad as Meta, guys. All right. Comparison. Continuing to look back at some of the key performers of the year. Jared, appreciate the time.